Anyone who knows my father, Henry Blackaby, knows that he has a great love for the church and for church leaders. Our ministry uh, travels around the world each year, encouraging pastors who may be struggling, who may be leading churches that are declined, declining or plateaued, and uh, we just try to help them get a fresh view of Christ, the head of their church, and what it is he wants to do in their church and through their church to touch the world. Last year, we were asked to write a book that specifically addresses churches that are struggling, churches that may ultimately have to close their doors if God does not revive them and do a fresh work in and through them. The book's called Flickering Lamps, Christ and His Church. And it's a study particularly of Revelation 1 through 3, where the Apostle John had a vision of the risen Christ that absolutely overwhelmed him. And Christ came to tell him that he was walking in the midst of his churches. He knew what they were facing. He knew the problems that they were undergoing. But the risen Christ also had an answer for every problem that they had. There was hope as long as Christ was present. And we wrote this book and have been, have been developing a ministry to churches that are struggling. And we've been asked by many churches if we could come and perhaps spend a weekend with them or several days where we could just walk alongside the church leaders and help them to hear what it is that is on Christ's heart for their church, to get a fresh vision of him and his power and his ability to help them, to save them, to revive them. And so we look forward to perhaps serving with you in your church, whether it's just making this book available to your leaders, that you could study uh, some truths that, that we share very clearly and simply about uh, truths that can change your church and save your church. Uh, the story is told of my father throughout this book of going to a church that had declined down to only 10 people. Uh, the church actually had a for sale sign on the property when my father arrived. And they said, um, we're not trying to put any more pressure on you, but if you don't come as our pastor, we're going to have to shut our doors. So my father did come, and all they had was Christ. And so they began to do what he told them to do. He provided for everything he asked them to do. Over the next 10 years, the church started 38 missions, started a Bible college, reached many people for Christ. The story of what happened in that church was later told in the book Experiencing God, which has impacted millions of people around the world. It was a church of 10 people about to die, and they got one last vision of what Christ could do through their little church. And what Christ did continues to impact people around the world to this very day. That's the same Christ that's the head of your church. He's just as capable of saving your church, of reviving it, of doing mighty things through it as he did in this church in Canada many years ago. And so on this part of our website are some resources, some contact information, some next steps that you could take that might help us come alongside you in some way and offer encouragement to you. We love the church. We love the people of the church. And uh, if there's any way that we can be of help to you, we would love to see God do his greatest work in your church in the days ahead. So please contact us and let us know how we might be of help to you in the days to come.